and welcome to Fast Forward. For the past two months, we've been following three West Midland schools who have been competing to design a concept sports car. Well, today is D-Day. A panel of judges will decide if their hard work has paid off and only one school will emerge as the overall winner. Pupils from Woodway Park School in Coventry are the first to arrive at the Heritage Motor Centre in Gaydon. Sort of nervous. Not really. I'm not as nervous as what I was earlier. Now that we're here. Apart from the fact that I've been sick all morning and shaking like a leaf, I'm okay. And what about the fact that it's not going to be pink? Would you have liked a car like the one behind you? Would I like the car with the one behind me? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I want to buy one. <laughs> what would it mean to you to win this? I'd be really happy because like, I've actually made something of myself. They can't wait to impress the judges. We first started off with four designs, one which my friend Leon here designed, and then we then produced all our ideas all together, put into one big design, which we then put onto AutoCAD software. What car would this be competing against? in the market? Um, something like the Lotus or some, uh, sports car around 30,000 range. The chassis itself you said is aluminium bonded. Yeah. Why did you choose that route rather than a steel tubular frame? Or it's lightweight and it's strong. It's strong. strong. The teenagers from Lordswood Girls School in Birmingham say today is their big day. It's sort of crunch time now, it, it, it counts now and we've done all the hard work so we've just got to stay positive. Does your car fly? <laughs> it doesn't have wheels but you don't really need them at this stage because but they're slots so you can see where the wheels will go. <laughs> Pretty nervous about going in front of the judges but confident that we're going to get a good result. Who do you think is going to do the most talking? Probably Amadeep because, yeah, because she's got the most to say and look, she's talks a lot. They've been supremely confident from day one, but what will Andy Wheel, the chief designer for Land Rover, Julie Chu, the MD of the Heritage Motor Centre, and Julian Turner from Westfield Sports Cars think of their final masterpiece? The actual company is called Chase Chase, and that stands for Jazz Deep, Andy, Candice and Eleanor. The reason for this thing about the name is actually quite important. Fiat did a, uh, a car over in, uh, in uh, a few years ago where they did a turbo diesel version of it, and the badging in Europe was T-U-R, dot D for turbo diesel <laughs> and of course they then launched that in the UK and uh, had to withdraw it quite quickly because it was uh, basically a, 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 Fiat, a Fiat Tipo turd. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well one of the groups about to come out after their grilling session here they are. How did you get on? It was, it was great. Amazing. Oh yeah. god it was, it was great. great. It was great. Oh. The youngsters from Westwood School in Coventry believe their futuristic design will wow the judges. The car, I think, is. I think we've done a really good job. I think it might just be a winner. But will the panel agree? Technology allows the driver to have an increased amount of time to react in the event of a potential collision. It does this via a set of proximity sensors attached to all the way around the car. We're using the recycled products to make our car have less of an impact on the environment. We have used a number of new ideas, including regenerative braking, using ethanol fuel as a source, and turbochargers. Why have you called it Zalardus King? Where did that come from? Mm. I think it just sounds really cool. <laughs> <laughs> a car weighing three and a half tonnes, 480 mm. horsepower, turbocharged. Mm. Can you tell me how that's environmentally friendly? Since we're using ethanol, we're not going to get that many, we're not going to get much emissions from it, so. How many miles per gallon are you going to get? Mm, uh, 4.0. How many? 4.0. Oh, guns. going to be using quite a lot of uh, yeah. ethanol. Oh, expensive to run. Yeah. Oh. going to have a field growing in their own back garden. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls let their hair down after their grilling session with a thrilling 4x4 four four ride. Oh, God, that looks well scary. Trust me. So with all the three presentations over, the judges still have no clear winner. Well, there's a, a very diverse uh, group of design solutions uh, that have come out from the three groups. Uh, all three groups have gone about the project in, in very, very different ways. And um, that's what's been most interesting. Julie, were you particularly harsh on them? 
No, I don't think we were harsh. Um, we tried to be realistic and ask them about their thought processes, what had gone into the project, what they had got out of the project as well, which is important. I was extremely impressed with um, a number of the group for being using the latest technology, software and computers uh, at such a young age. But after deliberating for hours, Ken Sloan from the University of Warwick announces the overall winner. So for the winning team, um, there's a trip to the British Grand Prix um, this year, and that's fantastic. Uh, a major event uh, within uh, the British sporting calendar, and one which is very exciting for all concerned. Runner-up prizes, we have, um, the, through the kind donation of uh, Westfield Sports Cars, um, the runners-up will uh, win a trip to a track day event at, the, at Westfield, where you'll be able to see the cars running and observe them running in timed sequences and timed events. So um, I will put everyone out of their misery and the winning team is Woodway Park. So, thank you, well done, congratulations, well done, thank you, well done, thank you, well done, thank you. At first when they called out our names I was like, is that us? <laughs> really? Oh my god, it's really happening because I didn't think that we had no chance of winning. But and now, how do you feel now? Shocked, still, but happy. Are you surprised? Uh, not really, because I, I, I thought we had a really good chance of winning. How will you celebrate? By grating my ticket to my father's face. And for Shanur Ali from Westwood School, a consolation prize to cherish. Um, well done today. We were extremely impressed with a lot of your drawings and design concepts that you come up with. Uh, we were so impressed with your work that we'd actually like to invite you to come and do some work experience with Westfield. Uh, doing some designs and some drawings and we'll try and help you and develop you further as you uh, progress in your career. Thanks. Thanks again. All the students enjoyed their experience. Some will go on to become the designers and engineers of the future.